backboard. Um, <laughs> this place felt like a playoff game, man. Paul told me, you know, and I got a little bit of it. Um, excuse me, I got a little bit of it um, in preseason, but I mean, and that was that was nothing to amount to what was tonight, man. Tonight was rocking, man. Whew. I kept trying to, you know, center myself, and but man, I couldn't even help it. This place was rocking, man. <laughs> God damn, this man. Go ahead, yo, man. <laughs> this place is rocking. <laughs> You said it. You said it. I, I, I couldn't even fathom it, though, dog. You know, it's been a minute since we've been at the playoffs. It's been crazy, but this place is crazy, though. Kevin, if you had written a script for your opening game here, whatever you knew went on, would it have been as good as what the reality was? We probably had less turnovers in it. Um, you know, Doc was telling us, he asked us how we thought we played. We thought we played okay. You know, not, not our best, you know. Um, we made... <laughs> Some countless mistakes. We turned the ball over. At times we wasn't as patient as we should have been. We didn't execute like we know we can. So we still got some work, man. We this work in pro- progress, man. This is this is this is about the journey. We keep talking about that. We gotta take this one game at a time, but it's about the journey. It was us, man. You know, it, you know. The young lady asked me today about my personal. I said it was. I was in where I was supposed to be because another person was doing their assignment, and that's how we're going to win, man. We know offensively on paper that we should beat a lot of teams. Um, I also know that, um, you know, defensively, this is where it's going to be. We're going we're gonna to win games because of defense, not because of our offense. Paul, your second quarter, talk about uh, finding the rhythm uh, with the big three and you taking over offensively. Uh, well, coach put me in where with the second unit, and, uh, you know, just tried to. Get a little spark. I think we was a little anxious, a little nervous coming to the game one. Uh, it was a tight game, but the, we did what we did. We executed. We played great defense. My teammates, you know, they were fine. Me, I got into a little rhythm and just got going. And we sort of fed off of that, and it carried over for the rest of the game. How different did it feel this tonight from before? Uh, you know, the only thing I wish is that uh, Red would have been here. You know. Uh, you know, he would have loved to have been here and, and see us, you know, try to turn this thing around. But it was a, it was a great atmosphere. Uh, you know, hopefully it can be like that for 40, 40 more games. And, uh, you know, the guys are going to enjoy it, and we're going to enjoy this journey. Did Gilbert and Arenas guarantee the Washington history have anything to do with it, inspiring you guys tonight? We was already jacked before this game, you know. The fire was already lit. That's all we're going to say. Right? so much attention in this city towards other sports. Do you, do you guys think you kind of made a statement like, hey, we're here too? Well, you know, the thing about us professional athletes, I think we respect the other sports also. And I'm a fan of the Boston Celtics. I mean, I'm a fan of the Red Sox, and I'm also a fan of the Patriots. You know, uh, you know we got our own mark to make. You know, those guys have definitely made their mark. They've won championships since I've been here, and uh, we have our own mark to make. Paul, it seemed like you got a little choked up when you went out to address the crowd. Uh, talk about the, you know, you didn't really know what was going to happen this summer and the, the trades happened and the whole thing is re- reborn. Is it, am I imagining that? <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm at a place right now in my career I couldn't ask for anything better. You know, uh, you know, I'm in my 10th year. I got a great supporting cast. I got great guys around me. I want to f- finish my career as a Boston Celtic. And, uh, you know, this, is, this has got to be our run. What do you think of Ray John tonight? It was great. He was, he was aggressive. He got us in our sets. I think uh, when we, we started to get a little erratic, <clears throat> he slowed us down. You know, great floor general. He's, he's, he's improving every day, man. Um, we get to see him work every single day, and he tends to get better every single day. Um, I, can't, I can't speak enough on you know, just how good the kid is, man, but we also see what he puts into it every day. Him real quick. What do you, when did that happen? When did he well, you? well um, as, as we uh, was all getting together working out, um, the fact that he was, if not one, the second person in the gym in the morning, that was like 7, 7.30, 7.15. You know, that first catch your eye, that first, you know, is what caught my eye right off the top. And then um, when we're all after we work out, um, you know, how much he just puts into it. You know, you know, I think Rondo's thing is just believing to believing what he puts into it and carrying it over in, onto the court and um, into uh, regular season games because he works really hard. You know, that, that ain't one thing. You know, 
Um, <laughs> I seen that firsthand. And then um, you know, Paul told me a little bit about him because I didn't know a lot about him. He told me right off the top, he said, you're going to love Rondo, man. He, he get after it on uh, defense. I remember the one play I remember that stands out about Rondo is in New York when he stole it, got to lay up, and then I think he got tipped dunking. I mean, he just – kid gets better and better every day. Clear. I think it was our defense, man. That's something we're going to preach and preach all year long. Uh, we know we're not going to have great shooting nights. Every single night we go out and shoot 47, 48%, but uh, we can be consistent every night with our defense. Uh, you know, just keep working at it each and every day. I think yeah. guys are committed, and uh, and that's what we want to do. I mean, we know that we got the weapons to score, but the defensive part, if we're going to be one of the best teams in the league, we got to be one of the top teams defensively. Yeah. Kevin, you mentioned the earlier to, 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 when did you settle down, or how did you get the uh, you, Man, look, uh, that wasn't no specific time, or I didn't say, oh, okay, I'm in the groove. I think I got a couple free throws that relaxed me. You know, you get your first bump, or you, you know, you, know, you go across the lane, get your first elbow, you know, things like that settle you down. As the, fl- as the game flows on, you find a rhythm. Um, I was no different from that. Yeah, I mean, we got to understand it's going to be a target on our back. Uh, each and every night, we're going to get everybody's best shot. And we just got to be ready for it. We got to have our bulletproof vests on and got to be ready to take those shots that teams are going to put on us. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep it even keel all year long. I mean, people are going to say stuff to rattle us. And uh, we can't get caught up into that. We got a job to do, and we just got to go out and do it. Well, a lot better than being ignored. I mean, you know, it feels good to finally have a national TV game. It's been a couple years. <laughs> And either I don't remember him being like that either, but maybe he was excited to play too. Any final questions, folks? Paul, was it nice to see Tony out there and contributing tonight after what he went through last season? Definitely. I mean, he's working hard each and every day. You know, Tony's going to get better and better as the year goes along. Uh, his knees are going to get stronger once he just get over that hurdle. I think, uh, you know, in his head, uh, he's going to be all right. You know, he, he's kind of hesitant at times because of the way he hurt it. That, uh, that explosion, and that's why he only shows flashes of it. But uh, he's going to be better. He's going to be a key for us off the bench. He's going to be a guy that we can put on the arenas, the Iversons of the, of the game, and uh, tell him to shut him down. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much, folks. Yeah. Yes,